I'm from Texas. What? I was born in Austin, Texas. That's good to know. I could hear the question in the air. Mm. I like to stay ahead of the game. Well, I'm not too good at games. Then you should have asked. The look on your face when you met me. I've seen it all my life. The question is usually, what are you? Where are you from and what do you want from us? Lou never told me that you were- Chinese American? I guess she figured you read the papers. Oh. So I guess we can just skip the girl talk. I need something. I don't need for you to like me, just to trust that we are on the same team. I'm here to protect Frank. I didn't help bring him this far to have him fall off this mountain. I have told you everything that I know. You don't like me very much, do you? It is too soon to tell, but right now, you are closer to a no. No to me, Carol the person, or no to Carol the Chinese American you've been told what to think about all your life? The only thing I know about Asian people is that they're not very nice to me when I go into one of their fruit stands. Always follow me around like I'm gonna steal something. They probably weren't even Chinese. Could they have been Korean or Vietnamese? How am I supposed to tell the difference? Ask. Oh, the next thing you'll try to tell me is that the Asians aren't trying to take over the world because they lost the war, like buying up all the real estate in America. And running American car manufacturers out of business. You want to believe the propaganda about the Asians, don't you? Lump us all into one little category. Forget that some of us are just as American as you. But when we believe the propaganda about you, you get upset. Call us racist. Because you are very mean, vicious little people. That you know absolutely nothing about except what you've read or heard from the same people who've told us to believe that you are lazy and shitless. The last time an Asian person talked to me like that, they carried him out on a stretcher in his own store. So you better watch it, little Miss Jimmy Choo. I saw a bunch of Asians beat a man up once because he stole an orange. And when I tried to help him, they turned on me. So I don't care what you are or where you come from. And frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Well, you better learn to give a damn before it's too late. My father served this country in World War II, was a prisoner of war, and when he returned home to San Francisco, wasn't even allowed to eat in a restaurant. Them proudly displaying signs that read, we don't serve chinks or dogs. Him forced to move us to Los Angeles so he could put, find a job to put food on the table. Us getting there and the only job he could find was in a laundry where the wages were so low that we had to sleep in a shack behind it. Where the dogs were better off. So don't talk to me about prejudice. So why are you here? Because I truly believe Frank can help change things. When the world begins to look at black people differently, they will look at all people differently. And because Frank is the best politician I've ever known of any race or color, he truly believes democratic government is possible. A government that puts the people first. Hmm. And you? I'm more of a pragmatist. But change has to start with the people who think it's possible. Hmm. How did you become Frank's campaign manager? A lot of hard work, an iron will, and connections. Putting the right people together has always been easy for me. When I first met Frank at an awards dinner about six years ago, I knew he had what it took to win at the game of politics. I convinced him to give it a shot and told him I would handle the rest. I have. And the rest is history, or will be. 
Lou says, I'm driven by perfection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> perfection disturbs me. Like this place. There's no mess. Where is the mess? <laughs> Lou has order. And in the midst of it, she has the warmth of a man who loves her. You envy her. What's to envy? Frank, you both want something from him. We both want something from him that I'd hardly call us adversaries. Vampires, then. And he is the virgin who will lure you both to death because sucking his blood is more important than living. That's a really strange analogy. Is it? <laughs>